The 10 week sitting of the legislature wasn't highlighted by the spring budget. The budget was balanced as promised by the government, although the debt continues to rise. The government only had one walk back from its budget, that of a cut to Cornwall Alternative School in Regina, which was reversed. The two major events of this spring happened outside these walls. The first last month's rally in Regina against the carbon tax. Now, leading up to the rally, NDP leader Ryan Miley was critical of the event organizers and chose not to attend that rally. He says he stands by that decision. When we looked at the rally and some of the folks who were organizing it, some of the messages that that sent, that, sent, that gave us real concerns. Uh, when the official account uh, was you know, sharing things about denying the existence of climate change, some of the connections of some of the organizers with the Yellow Vest movement and what that represents, I didn't feel that was the right place to be. That doesn't mean for a second that I didn't value and respect the people who are there, that I'm not absolutely happy to speak to the folks who are at that rally. The particular format and the way that developed seemed to me like it wasn't the right message to send. Of course, Premier Scott Moe attended the rally. He was given a hero's welcome by the more than a thousand people who were in attendance and he gave a speech. Now, the other major event of the spring was the Saskatchewan Court of Appeals decision to reject Saskatchewan's case against the carbon tax, a narrow decision of three to two. Inside the walls of the legislature, a few bills were passed. Premier Scott Moe highlighted a few of those today. We see some of the legislation uh, to support new parents uh, here in this, in, in this province that was passed. We see Claire's Law that is passed. We see we see supports uh, for those that have uh, have experienced interpersonal or sexual violence in in five paid five uh, paid days of leave that have been provided, and an additional uh, five uh, five days of leave uh, as well. NDP leader Ryan Miley says there were a few issues he believes the government didn't pay enough attention to in the sitting, including supports for the education sector and reducing ER wait times. Now the MLAs will take a break, go back to their constituencies, and they'll be back here on October 23rd, two days after the federal election. Adam Hunter, CBC News, Regina.